In this video, we're going to repeat the same exercise we did in February and March of 2020, which is looking at the put call ratio. Looking at the put call ratio and paying attention to it has helped us stay on the right side of the markets, at least for the past several months. Uh, and so there's no reason to think any different this time around. So currently, the 10 period simple moving average of the put call ratio is showing us that we're at a period of 0.99. And when we get to 1.0, that's when our trigger actually sets in, in which this label starts to light up as red, giving us that initial indication that the market is overly bullish and we can start to look for signs for a potential reversal. Now the catch is that the put call ratio has typically been in these extreme periods for a few weeks before the market ultimately ends up reversing in whichever favor that we were looking at, so timing becomes a little bit tricky. So with the put call ratio being 0.99, I think this is now signs to start to be cautious, but even when we get to 1.0, it's not all that unlikely that the market still continues to grind up a little bit higher. So now the question starts to become, well, what are some levels that we could start to look at? And if you layer on the Fibonacci from our swing high to our swing low here, you'll notice that we're currently halted right at that halfback level. So depending on the Sunday open as well as this week, it doesn't seem all that unlikely to grind up higher to the 618 against all odds. And that's where our put call ratio then starts to give us territory of being in 1.0. Uh, and then even then, right, uh, timing still is a little bit difficult. So for any bearish positions, at least using options, you'd like to try and buy as much time as you'd like because you may be off on the timing there. Now, if we also layer on our edge signals here, we see that from our last oversold level, which confirmed our previous pivot point, the market's grinded up higher. So another signal that you might be looking at, for at least those that have access to this tool, is you're looking for the market to grind up to right around that 292 to 300 level, and then we start to get our bearish signal to play the downward move. Now, sure, the bearish signal may be lagging a little bit in the sense of, yes, this candle was slightly better to enter, and this candle was slightly better to enter than this candle, uh, but that's the price I think you pay for the confirmation signal there, uh, which which is one that at least I'm willing to pay. And then finally, the last thing that I think that's interesting on the charts of most of the major indices, ETFs, so on, is we have a daily squeeze here. And then if we come to our monthly chart as well, we also have a monthly squeeze in which we're starting to lose some momentum. So if this does fire bearishly, then that does set up for a pretty nice bearish move. Uh, but of course, to try and play that reverse side, the histogram on the monthly is still above zero as well as on the daily. Uh, so currently, the signs are still pointing to be a bit more bullish. Our put call ratio is starting to give us that signal that, hey, we're going to be entering that overly bullish territory probably this week uh, if we can grind up a little bit higher. And using the fibs, we have some sort of levels uh, or just really price areas that you can start to look at uh, in terms of potential reversals. And then using another confidence signal that you may be looking at for us, that's the edge signals, to try and time that downward move if and when we do get it. All right. Hope that video helps. Take care, everyone, and good luck trading this week. Thank you.